Let me just check if the mic is live. All right, we're good. All right. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Canadian Owl Scout in the competition. Nice. So, for everyone uh, that's just tuning in, I'm Amadeus Zeno. Uh, this is going to be an SM Rat race between Zeb316 and Freya's Spirit. Uh, Sailor Jade is going to be our tracker, and WJG999 is our gatekeeper, seed roller, and restreamer. Let's see, both runners that we got today are very good runners. Um, they're only like 40 seconds apart in their any percent times, so should be pretty awesome to watch. And this is going to be, um, uh, their first match together, and I believe they've got it set for all three matches back to back. Let me just double check that. Yeah, they've got a uh, well two if and uh, three if it gets to that if they need a tiebreaker. But all all the matches they're going to be doing are going to be back to back right now. So they've confirmed that they got the same seat. Like Zeb setting up his controls. Turn the moonwalk on. So, what's everybody's opinion on moonwalk? Yay or nay? Except he can't do it. Moonwalk does take a little bit of getting used to. Hey, Smokey. And Moonwalk takes a little bit of getting used to, but after you use it for a while and really get used to it, playing without it feels really weird. <laughs> All right, both runners are readied up. It's going to be starting in just a moment. Got the countdown in the SRL chat. All right, we got the go in SRL, so it should be seen on screen starting in just a moment. Of course, there's always a delay, and then a little bit more out of delay because of the restream. Not too much difference between the two sides there. Looks like only one second. Maybe just over a second. And so Frey's getting that first moonfall. Is that missing it? Frey's dropping down the climb. Zeb's right behind. Both runners getting through with zero pits.
All right, what's our first item going to be? And it's Ice Beam. It's definitely nice having ice, because that way you know you don't have too many problems when you get to the Metroids. Of course, a lot of people do tend to turn ice off, because it does slow down the climb if you do the right side wall jumps. Alright, so Phrase choosing to use the D-boost to get Morph Ball out of the ceiling while Zeb freezes the flying lettuce there. Whatever those things are called. And we get our first pack of missiles. So Phrase having uh, some trouble with the jump there. Zeb caught up, but... And uh, Phrase fell right behind. So, oh, we got bombs already. So, we probably won't see them worry too much about grabbing power bombs. Everybody is right. It, if they do choose to go to BT, it will in fact be a BT fight. Not sure where that button is, never use it on the tracker. So Zeb is, instead of turning Ice Beam off, using missiles to take out the pirates. And we find an E-Tank underneath Old Mother Brain. So, with not turning Ice Beam off does help save that time of going into the pause menu. And, you know, less chance of forgetting about it later on. He sees that again, switching to his missiles for the climb. Right. Zeb is able to make it up the climb first, but Frey is, you know, right there as well. <laughs> nice beam. And so we got both runners checking last missiles. And it's missiles. Twice beam. <laughs> that is a good point there, Smokey. Yeah. All the weak enemies that you would normally one-shot do take two. Alright, so both runners heading down to BT. Nice sync with that door transfer. Alright, and we got Plasma Beam. At this point, they might just save their missiles. <laughs> Zeb doing his standing, still arm pumping. I don't think uh, arm pumping while you're standing still really saves any frames. So, Zeb coming out with full missiles while Freya's only has seven. Right. Both runners getting through Alcatraz with no problems. RNG manipulation. <laughs> so. Wow, Varia at the bottom of Terminator. What? <laughs> They've already got regular bombs, ice beam, plasma, varia. Yeah, go mode. They don't need anything else. <laughs> and... So, what's our next item going to be, charge? <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, that's a good question. What did you roll, WJG? How come I can never roll seeds like this for myself? I always get, like, the worst ones. Alright, both runners making the mock ball no problem. Going in, find missiles, space jump. So. Some people like space jump, some people don't. Yeah. I think that it's a good item. It's not my favorite, but it's a good item. Alright, Zeb already choosing to skip some missiles. While Freya is, is grabbing one of them. <laughs> Zeb getting a little stuck there on the frozen dude. Yeah, he can't skip those missiles. So, both runners making their way over to Big Pink. So, Zeb using the traditional 100% strats of using Mock Ball. You know, meanwhile, Freya's just used the plasma to blast through all the enemies while running. Yeah, it is unusual for no supers or power bombs, but there's our first supers at the top of Big Pink. Right, so they could do a spore spawn check. Right, at the bottom, we got an E tank. What are we gonna find down at Charge Beam? Some more supers. So far, no difference in their routing. A uh, little freeze there on Zeb's side for a second, but it's all good now. All right. Looks like both runners are going to be going to do the spore spawn skip. Zeb seems to have gotten the bombs a little quicker. Gets a skip on the first try. Uh, Frey is having a little trouble, but does get it. And we find some more supers back here. So vanilla. I use that same setup as well, Smokey. Oh no, it's definitely not randomized. They're just doing a really odd hundo route. <laughs> All right, Zeb making his way through the green hills, going into the tube. See some more missiles that he's gonna skip. Okay, Freya's goes up, skips those missiles as well. <laughs> Neither of them doing moon dance. <laughs> it is true, they could do moon dance. No idea if they'll go back to Eticoons or not. Of course, we have no idea. Could be some really good items down there. Could be garbage down there. And at Spazer, we found some more super missiles. Zeb is slowly getting a lead going here. Oh, Freya's gets grabbed by a yapping maw. So, it's helping Zeb inch away. So at this point, Zeb is, say, about 15 seconds ahead. You know, give or take a couple seconds. Uh, 
Zeb is not going to be checking the item in the wall because at the moment neither runner has a way to do so. Can't check it without power bombs or x ray. So both runners are headed right to Kraid. See either if either runner takes Kraid to prom or not. Oh, that is true, Smokey. Wave Beam would allow them to check the item as well. I don't know how I could forget that. Looked like uh, Zeb is taking Kraid to prom. Looks like he had only fired one super into Kraid's mouth. And Freya's does get the quick kill though, which helps them catch up and take the lead. And we find Spring Ball. This is a really close race so far. Zeb was slowly pulling ahead, you know, little by little, but missing that quick kill, Freya's has taken over the lead. So now heading over, gonna check the Kraid E tank item. And we find some more super missiles. <laughs> You're worried? Well, these are two very experienced any percent runners that. Well, I'm not sure what routing Freya's runs, but I know that Zeb still runs uh, KPDR, and so usually wouldn't have power bombs this early. some stuff but let me uh freshen that up all right super is at the top okay missiles at the high jump location itself so two packs of missiles and a pack of super missiles yeah. first power bombs are somewhere else all right so phrase is now making their way over to bubble mountain Zeb is going to check the croc escape item. And it's just missiles there. Alright. And in Cathedral, we find just a pack of missiles. Phrase is now entering Bubble Mountain. Don't know if they're gonna. Yep, yeah, looks like they're gonna check the item at the bottom first. And it's more super missiles. So far, that's the most found item. is now heading over to the speed booster location. Yeah, the super is were pretty shy in the beginning. It is possible the runners could go to croc, but they might not do it so early. Because at this point in time it's uh, not in logic. Alright, Zeb is headed to the Norfair Reserve location. Over at Speed Booster, Phrase just finds missiles. 
And above the door for speed was missiles as well. Alright, reserve is missiles. Oh, and we got screw attack for Zeb. So that's definitely gonna help him out. Yep, Gauntlet is definitely in logic now. Frey is now going to check wave. And we find our first reserve tank. First power bombs at Gauntlet. And at wave, we find some more super missiles. So now Zeb's gone to check the speed location that phrase already checked we'll probably go down and check wave after you gotta wonder if phrase is gonna head over to Norfair reserve or not so far that's only a red indifference we've seen And Phrase is going to check Norfair Reserve. So. Because of a slight red indifference, it's a little difficult to tell who's in the lead now. Phrase has seen the screw attack. And. Skips the missiles. And Zeb is grabbing the reserve tank. Yeah, it is very good possibility that phrase is still in the lead. The phrase is now heading down, so looks like it could be a croc check. Yeah, they will have to use missiles or supers for the gate glitch. And second try. So, will Zeb be heading down there as well? No, Zeb is headed back through Cathedral. So we have some very big routing difference here. Phrase has entered the croc attack there. So let's see, he's starting off with the missile super combo. Zeb has made it back across. Alright, and Croc is down for Freya's. And we find Grapple Beam. And for a second I thought Zeb was going to ice as well. Looked like he thought about it. Is having some fun with Spring Ball there. Right, so, having Screw Attack and Space Jump, I'm thinking we're probably going to see Zeb do an X ray check. Never mind, he went right past it. Um, Zeb's going right up Red Tower. Looked like he was trying to freeze that ripper at the top there, but didn't quite get it frozen where he wanted. That's right, Canadian Owl. I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, uh, I missed a phrase. Checked the uh, croc powerbomb item. Alright, so 
At cosine and alpha power bombs, we find super missiles. So. Let's see. Zeb is running low on options here. So, might possibly head up to Gauntlet. Can't check beta power bombs or behind alpha power bombs without power bombs. Can't check criteria power bombs. Can't check the moat. Oh, and we find power bombs at the grapple beam location. So Phrase is the first one to find them. <laughs> Sequence broken power bombs. Yeah, the check-in croc, uh, croc right now was definitely out of logic. It's croc that's not coming to logic until having either speed booster or wave beam. Right. Zeb's now up to gauntlet. Having space jump and screw attack helps get through there very easily. Gets grabbed by Yapping Ma and pulled into the acid. Phrase has finished a croc escape. It is now heading out of Norfair. Might go check Ice Beam. And there we go, power bomb set gauntlet. So, Phrase going to Ice Beam is uh, definitely out of logic for SM Rat. Because that doesn't come into logic until having speed booster to get through the gates. Oh, Zeb only getting the left side, which has the missiles he doesn't want. Right side having supers that he probably would have wanted. Oh, I missed what was that ice beam. Oh, it's more power bombs. Alright, Phrase is now going to check the uh, crumble shaft item. And we find the X-ray. Phrase almost fell down, but had a nice quick save off the crumble blocks there. Zeb is headed down to Edicoons. I just need to find... Wait a minute. Did Zeb mean to fall down? <laughs> or was that an accident? But... So Zeb didn't check what was through the super missile door. <laughs> oh, he fell. That explains it. And there's some more supers at the power bomb location. Let's see if. They had high jump boots, then it would be possible for the runners to do. Um, hey, there's Wave Beam. So Zeb is the first one to get the Smoky validation. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> All right, Frey is going to check X-Ray. Oh, and falls down onto the spikes. <laughs> Spike validation has that effect on people.
Mm. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? That phrase is now heading up Red Tower. Yeah, and Zeb is checking the items that they couldn't get in Big Pink earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I rock everybody. Alright, so at Mission Impossible is an E tank. Is getting the super missiles at Alpha Power Bombs. Zeb is heading over into Wavegate. Behind Alpha Power Bombs, we find some more supers. Zeb having a little difficulty with his wall jumps for a second there. At Wavegate, we find a reserve tank. Zeb is skipping that one. Still wants Zeb to find gravity to even it up a little more. Alright, beta power bombs is some more super missiles. And Zeb now is going reverse meme route. We'll get to see the item left of Morph. And probably Billy Maze as well. Alright, left of Morph, we find an E-Tank. There's probably a real name for that besides left of Morph, but I don't know it. Just goes to show you don't have to be a professional to commentate a Super Metroid race. Zeb is heading right up into Billy Maze. Frey's cross the moat, which I believe was missiles. At the bottom of the ocean, we find Spazer Beam. Already having Plasma is gonna skip that. And Billy Maze has high jump boots and another pack of power bombs. High jump boots is my favorite movement item. Phrase is across the ocean, heading into wrecked ship. Yeah, that is true. Zeb is familiar with doing a lava dive and having high jump boots. I know he can definitely do that lava dive. All right, in the dead spiky room, we find some more power bombs. I call it the dead spiky room because it's currently not alive or active yet. Zeb is now going back to Red Tower. The meme route. Yeah. And no one's gone to the volcano or criteria power bombs. Whichever name you would prefer to call it by. Zeb forgetting he already opened that door there and used a super on it again. So Zeb appears to be heading for perhaps Croc. Now that he's got Wave Beam, it does put Croc into logic. Or he might be headed straight for Lower Norfair. Meanwhile, Freya's is already a good bit of the way through their Fantoon fight. Yeah, it appears that Zeb is just flying down into Norfair. Um, he's not checking ice. Yeah, 
Right, Fantoon is down for Freya's. Zeb is kind of acting like he's in go mode, but he would still need either... Well, I know he knows how to do Suitless Meridia, at least until uh, Batuun. I'm not sure if he knows the grapple escape out of Dragon's room and the other strats there. Huh. Hello, ghost. But definitely does need more items for Suitless Meridia. Uh, Phrase finds an E tank on the right side of Wreck Ship. Is that uh, right side supers? And it appears Zeb is going for a lava dive. Uh, Phrase, not sure if they meant to shoot that missile. Left side supers is another E tank. Alright, Zeb making his way through that lava dive with no problem. Frey's now gonna go through Spiky Death Room, heading over to the wreck ship E tank. Appeared to be uh, going for a D boost strat, but landed on some spikes. Still making it through with plenty of health though. Of course, having Varia, spikes don't do nearly as much damage. And Zeb is not going to be going the intended way to GT at least. Or not going to GT at all. Having high jump and space jump and screw attack makes worse room in the game into nothing. So, oh, and I missed what was at the Rex Sheppy Tanka location. Oh, Zeni Tank. Thank you, Smokey. Kind of surprised that Zeb is skipping so many item locations. Uh, he's just headed right to Ridley. Right, Going to be checking power bombs of shame though, and we find an E tank there. It is possible for a charge beam to be behind Ridley. Right. Phrase is clearing out the attic. It is springtime, so you know, I always gotta do some spring cleaning and clear out the attic. Zeb's finishing off the ninja pirates, headed over to Ridley. Phrase is checking the right side attic item. He's able to clip through one of those robots, no problem. Sees another E tank and decides to skip that one. Alright, Zeb is now into the Ridley fight. Only has ammo that he can use, but went in with more than enough supers. And Frey is now going to check the wreck ship reserve item and find some power bombs. Using the x-ray to check the item. Right. Frey is now going to head up and Check the sky missiles and its missiles. And same over at the Ridley tank item. 
And Morph Ball Maze, we find Speed Booster. So. Let's see. Now, the, uh... Croc is now in logic for both of them. Of course, Freya's having already done Crocmire. Both runners have two bosses down. Still on the hunt for gravity suit. So, actually, now that I think of it, Zeb. I'm not sure if he knows all the tricks, but there is a possibility of him being able to do Suitless Meridia with the items that he has. That is, if he knows how to do a double spring ball jump. And double spring ball jump and snail climb. Oh, and we find Charge Beam. So, Phrase has got to be happy with that. And at the gravity location, we find a pack of missiles. Alright, Zeb finds some missiles under the three musketeers. Phrase falling into the ocean. Criteria power bombs or crate missiles. That's very good possibility. I can't really think of anywhere else that uh, gravity could be. But yeah, climb supers is a possibility. Alright, phrase is up to criteria power bombs. Making the check here. And we find an E-Tank. Uh, yeah, in SM Rat logic for waterway, gravity is in logic for that. We got Zeb doing his croc check now. His phrase is going for the gauntlet check. So, if it turns out that uh, gravity happens to be in climb supers and phrase goes there first, then that could be huge. Alright, Zeb now has his grapple beam. Phrase picking up the power bombs and gauntlet. This is uh, round six of the alternative bracket. This is match one. So, phrase, skipping both ammo items. I'm gonna back a gauntlet there. It is possible for Zeb to be able to clear out Meridia completely with the items he has. But I'm not sure if he knows how to do double spring ball jump or not. Or how comfortable he is with using it. Um, he also could do the grapple escape from Dragon's room. I'm sure that Zeb is familiar and comfortable with a regular spring ball jump. And having Ice Beam 
high jump boots could easily get through and grapple beam can obviously get through a lot of stuff there our phrase has finally gotten their smoky validation so phrase now has the full beam combo and charge Zeb meanwhile does not have charge yet well I say yet but it is quite possible that we might not see Zeb go check wrecked ship completely. When Zeb does grab the power bombs here at X-Ray. Or a grapple, I mean. this point, because uh, both runners have checked a lot of locations, I kind of wonder if either one of them feels ahead or behind. I just uh, realized a little bit ago, is it about 20 minutes ago in the SRL chat, Zeb had said, heck this seed. <laughs> Alright. So Zeb is now headed up the elevator. It's a great seed. And Zeb does have Ridley down. And Freya seems to still be hunting for logical access to Meridia or Lower Norfair. Of course, both of those requiring gravity suit. You know, to be in logic. You know, Phrase is now going down to do a waterway check. Zeb is headed up Red Tower. Gonna go do an X-ray check. Uh, I know Phrase already did the X-ray check. I don't recall what the item was though. No, they couldn't check Kraid missiles when they were there. Uh, at the time, they didn't have wave beam, power bombs, or X ray to be able to check it. Okay, it was a reserve tank at X ray. And it was just missiles at waterway. Uh, okay, so. See which way will Freya's go now? Looks like they're going reverse meme route. Meanwhile, Zeb is headed to wreck ship, I believe. Well, I know just before the race started that Zeb was practicing some tricks for Meridia. Specifically mentioned about um, you know, something he might have to do for Suitless Meridia. I believe he was uh, practicing Crystal Flash Clip, which having an Ice Beam, he won't have to worry about that at all. Phrase now gets their high jump boots up in Billy Maze. Skipping out on the power bombs there, having 20. You know, they don't have to worry about it. Zeb grabs some more supers at beta power bombs. Zeb. Let's see. Yeah, Zeb definitely has plenty of ammo to finish this seed now. Yeah, quite 
I possibly plan a non charge list. So, I'm sure we'll see Zeb making a few more item checks, but I'm not sure how much more he will check. Oh, Frey's getting a nice spark from the elevator there. Phrase is going to check climb supers now. So this will be the moment of truth. Is this where gravity is? And it is gravity suit for phrase. So let's see. Depending on what Zeb does here, this could be. Could still possibly be Zeb's, you know, race here. Having Ridley down already and just about to Fantoon. But Freys will be able to go through the lava faster. And will be able to go through Meridia much faster. So, Freys is absolutely 100% in go mode now. He uh, gets the uh, power bombs in the dead spiky room of wreck ship. Phrase is going meme route. Look like they're going for the speedball there, but missed it. You know, by avoiding the E tank there. Phrase going for a mock ball, but not quite getting it. Spring ball making it very obvious. Down memory lane. <laughs> okay. Got Zeb in the Fantoon fight. Memorial. <laughs> Phrase is going to be heading down to Lower Norfair to take on Ridley first. And Zeb has finished off Fantoon. If Zeb feels comfortable what, with what he has and decides to just boss, ru uh, boss rush Dragon suitless, you know, then we'll have a huge lead. But we'll see how much of wrecked ship Zeb decides to check. Checking the left side supers, which we know is an E-Tank, as well as right side. Going to check the right side, too. Right, skips that E-Tank as well. So... Another thing I just thought of is Freya does have all the items and enough E-Tanks to be able to do stand-up. So that's another thing that gives Freya a nice little edge right now to be able to catch up. Nice strap by Freya there. Using a charged shot to weaken those pirates so that way the power bomb kills them and helps reduce the lag. So. I'm 
Not sure exactly what Zeb is hoping to find. Not sure if we'll see Zeb find his charge beam. making some pretty fast work of Lower Norfair. And is in full-on go mode, so it doesn't need to check any items at all. He's uh, clearing out the attic. And I see Phrase is not making any item checks. Can't even think of anything that phrase could possibly want. Except for dead Ridley and fried shrimp. Or microwave shrimp is most likely. Uh, Speed was in the morph ball maze just outside of wreck ship. Below sky missiles. You're welcome. Alright, Freya's in the Ridley fight. She's in to use the supers. Now switching over to using some charge shots. Alright, so there's Zeb picking up his speed booster. I... Didn't catch if uh, Zeb had checked the wreck ship reserve item, which we know from one phrase. So there is just a pack of power bombs. Alright, Ridley is down for Freya's. Hmm, not bothering to check the Ridley E tank item. It's just a pack of missiles, anyways, that they don't need. And Zeb is now in bowling, so as long as Zeb goes to the right, uh, the Chozo's hand will find Charge Beam. Yeah, if Zeb does uh, get up here, he's going to get his Charge Beam now. But if Zeb, after this, goes straight to climb supers, then it, I think it'll be a very close race. But I do think that Freya's is probably in the lead right now. I'm not sure if Freya remembers that they have ice or not. Um, it's a possibility that they don't remember. But I'm not completely sure. So ice was their first item. And they turned it off right away. Is killing off three musketeers, being as low as health on. Words are hard. Being as low on health as they were, definitely understand. <laughs> yeah. Definitely pulling a bend. I do hang out on his channel quite frequently. Alright, so. Hopefully, Zeb knows that he should go to climb supers. He's already checked Gauntlet. Right, Frey is now flying through Frog Speedway, so 
Yeah, Phrase definitely has a good lead right now. And Zeb is going to climb supers right now, so Zeb will have his gravity suit in just a moment. So. At this point, Zeb probably feels behind, which he is at the moment. Seems how Dragon is the only boss that they have left. Phrase is already in Meridia. So, if Phrase makes some mistakes, then Zeb could catch up. But at the moment, it looks like this is Phrase race to lose. That's uh, another thing there. Phrase can do microwave, whereas Zeb cannot. Because Zeb did not find X-Ray. No, I meant to lose. Yeah. Because Phrase would have to mess up to lose it. This is their race. Now headed straight into Meridia. Phrase is already into Dragon's room. And Phrase is quite low on health right now. But they do have microwave beams, so not really too much to worry about. There we go, microwave. And the shrimp is dead. Now they'll be able to collect the health drops and be perfectly fine. So that's all four bosses down for Freya's. Zeb is just finished getting through Mount Everest. Well, having just one power bomb left for the blocks there to get over to Batum. So, let's see if Phrase will probably go back through Batum's room, so you get a high five over there. Nice one round from Zeb without a microwave. And Frey's going through the sand as Zeb runs right over the top of their head. Blazing Al, how you doing? And unfortunately, the majority of the race has already passed. Yeah, match two will be immediately following this. Phrase high five his foot as he went and by. I like that. Zeb was just entering Meridia as Phrase had entered Dragon. Now, as Zeb is starting Dragon, Phrase is about to leave Meridia. Zeb doing his arm pumping there. Now when you're stationary, arm pumping it does not move you forward a frame. You just still stay in one spot. Uh, 
Zeb is uh, going for Shine Spark kill. But missed uh, one of his short charges. Now using some charge chops. And Dragon is down for Zeb. Frey's taking a refill at the ship. Then gonna be heading down into Turian. So. Let's see, Frey's still has not turned Ice Beam back on. So. If Freya's has forgotten that they picked up Ice Beam and uses power bombs on the Metroids, that could allow Zeb to catch back up. Especially if Zeb chooses to skip the ship refill. Which is a possibility. The ammo is pretty good and having full beam with charge. You know, being an any percent runner. Sure feels comfortable with what he's got. Phrase is grouping the Metroids together. And is in fact killing them with power bombs. Phrase has forgotten about Ice Beam. So, <laughs> that's definitely feels bad, man. Well, I'm not sure if Zeb will be able to catch up or not at this point, even if he skips the ship refill. Seems how Frey's just finished the third Metroid room, running to the fourth one. So, if uh, Frey's does do an interview after. Uh, we'll have to ask about Ice Beam. You've forgotten to have an ice, uh, have an space jump. <laughs> That's fun. I've actually forgotten that I had space jump before as well. I had Zeb turning off his uh, screw attack there. Use a tracker. Yeah. I'm too lazy to click things. Plus, I play on keyboard, so I'd have to keep clicking back onto the emulator there to be able to play. Right, so, Phrase got the baby skip, which definitely saved them some time. Though, they will. Having forgotten about Ice Beam, it looks like they're going for a speed Zeb skip. Didn't get it. Using some super missiles to blast through the Zebs. Allowing Zeb to catch up a little bit. Yeah, I have an auto tracker, but the version of SNES 9X that I currently use, it doesn't work with. But there are auto trackers that do exist. At least one that I know of. And so Frey started off with some charge shots, switching to some super missiles. So, 
in the catch-up phase. So Freys will not be doing stand-up. Damage is down for the rainbow beam. In the SRL chat, Phrase says, Fascinating seed, first PBs in logic. We're in a really interesting place. Of course, that's Phrase talking about uh, ones in Gauntlet. Blasting away at Mother Brain with the supers. So we can see that Zeb was able to catch up quite a bit. Remembering that he had Ice Beam, was able to get through the Metroid rooms a little quicker. And also managed to get the uh, Zeb skip. So that damage is down for the Rainbow Beam. Phrase is still finishing the cutscene here, as Zeb is just starting it. And there's a couple seconds of difference on their timers there. So this is definitely a very close race between the two. But where Phrase is already on Mother Brain 3, it, I'm sure we'll definitely get the win. It would take some uh, very big movement errors for Zeb to be able to get this. Some big movement errors and saving the animals, I think. But being great any percent runner, I don't think we're going to see that happen. So Phrase is making their way through the escape now. No, I never save those critters. Because forget fusion. <laughs> Phrase getting the last moon follow of the game. As baby is dying on Zeb's screen. Last shine spark of the game up the climb. And hey, we haven't even seen the red fish in this room. Phrase is finished with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 9 minutes, and 31 seconds. And... Let's see... I think they're gonna join us for an interview. Hello. Hello. second I'm getting um, my computer is being stupid <laughs> I did my sound switch right. uh, oh, phrase can you hear me you're currently muted. Yes, we can hear you. We were typing. So muted. Right. Oh, wow. Wow, that was a really close race. We didn't realize that we were only a minute and a half ahead. <laughs> it was uh, very close. Uh, lead had actually changed a couple times there. So, um... Did... Did Zeb go up or down the red tower? 
Um, you'd both followed uh, pretty much the same routing through the majority of this until, um, what was it? Um, leaving Bubble Mountain. Uh, you went to Krogmire and Zeb went up to Alpha Power Bombs and then went through Gauntlet. Ooh, interesting. Yes, so we were intentionally checking the places where power bombs could be in logic in Nor in Upper Norfair last. And of course, the two pla two places where they couldn't be in logic were where we found them. It was, uh, we were definitely shocked to see the power bombs show up so late in the seed. Um, Did yeah, so we thought about it, and we don't think it, late power bombs actually cost us any time, because they didn't mean make any checks that we couldn't check. Maybe I'm going to pull Zeb in as well. Hey, Zeb. GG. GG. When did you find gravity? For us, oh. gravity was the last place that we could check. It wasn't quite the last place, because I didn't check ice. Because I was trying not to check um, anything until it was in logic. <laughs> Yes, yeah, th yeah. That's where we were at. Only um, Croc and I both held power bombs. Yeah. Power bombs? Oh. Um, Freya's. Uh, question yeah. I wanted to ask: Did you forget about ice beam? Wait, what do you mean? Did we forget about ice beam? Ice beam was the first item you had picked up. Oh, we picked up ice beam. Yes. Oh, you forgot ice cream too. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that would have we been really useful that you'd to know. Forgotten about it when um, you were heading into Turian. Yeah, and that that would have saved, saved us a ship refill and a little bit of time in the Metroid rooms. Yeah. Yeah. It um, it definitely helped Zeb catch a little bit of time on you, but. Yeah. If so if power that bombs were at ice. Right away. Yeah, power oh. bombs were at ice, so. so. Did you check ice right away? Um, when you first No, went down we, to no we, ice was the last thing we checked in Upper Norfair because it was out of logic. I didn't even check it in Upper Norfair. My first power bombs were at Gauntlet. We were thinking about going Gauntlet um, really early because we had bombs, but. We decided not to, and we don't think that doing that late, doing late gauntlet actually cost us any time. It, if anything, it was neutral to saving us time slightly. Uh, it was like power bombs, super pack, and a missile pack, I think. Yes. Yeah, in the back of gauntlet, the left side was missiles, the right side was super missiles. Yeah, we just played a solid game, and the seed trolled us, and <laughs> we got it done eventually. I don't know how you play that seed and not get trolled, though, so... So, so naturally, the way that you play the seed is on... Oh, no, get... I said, I don't know how you play that seed and don't get trolled. Ah, uh, okay. You don't want to get trolled with a seed, no matter what. <laughs> that was something. Yeah. Um, yeah. I... So because space jump and logic until we found speed, I was trying to avoid wrecked ship. Wait, space jump wasn't in logic? Oh, it was behind um, the mothball, which huh. requires speed. Okay. So then we guess that you would have... Then gauntlet would not have been in logic. Um, no, gauntlet was because of bombs and screw attack. Oh god, bomb jumping is in logic, so Gauntlet was in logic. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, so when I found Screw Attack, I figured, well, Gauntlet's probably the next logical step. And it turns out it was, but it was just for power bombs, which end at Ice Beam anyway. We're really glad that we and got I, this. I was kind of... it's, it's really interesting to find an interesting puzzle. Most seeds are <laughs> like the, basically the same. Yeah, uh, Zeb for a bit. I was wondering if you were going to be doing Suitless Meridia, because you had... Yeah, yeah, I had everything I needed, I just don't... Um, okay. 
I don't know mm -hmm. how to do full suit with, so drink oh, okay. out of the skate mostly. Yeah, we, we didn't find high, high jump was um the second to last item that we the second to last place where gravity could have been for us. So. Uh, after I found um, power bombs at Gauntlet, I went through like all of Brinstar and checked all the places that um, were locked off because I didn't have power bombs earlier. So I found high jump then, and then I went back down to Norfair because I figured I could. I also found wave beam, which put proc in logic. With the high jump boots, that meant that I could do um, Lord Norfair. It wasn't that bad if I didn't find gravity across. Or at least yeah, beginning so if we did high, if we'd have high jump boots, we would have seriously considered making a play for lower north bear. I was, I was kind of nervous about finding high jump boots because I had like with lower north bear and screw attack, but with three e tanks, I guess with three e tanks, but even. Um, just screw attack helps so much that it probably would be fine. Um, do either of you have anything else you'd like to add about the seed? Um, heck this seed. <laughs> heck this seed. Yeah. Well, um, WJG has uh, the room open for the next race. And um, good luck to both of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going to be right back. We're going to head off and prepare for the next race. Yeah. And I guess I'm probably going to be doing the commentary on that one as well, because I don't think we've got anybody else. I'm not even sure if we asked for anybody else, but so I guess I'll be doing the tracking or commentary. I'm sorry. You see, unless. Yeah, I don't see anybody else uh, requesting to do it. So, and uh, good luck to both of you. And thank you, and thank, and good luck with commentary. I'm sure it'll be wonderful again. Yep, <laughs> I bet it was fun this time. All right, talk to you guys later. All right, so um, I don't know if uh, WJG are we gonna just go right into it, or are you going to cut stream for a second to make it easier for the highlights? Oh, you are going to cut it. I see that in the chat now. All right, so everybody stick around. The stream will be shutting down for just a couple seconds, but we're going to be right back with match two. <laughs> 